Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimate, and welcome to episode 57 of Lost Platinum Dung and Robber 2. Goodbye, despair. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You guys. Hey! Hey! Aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for logics or young romantic trysts, you know. Y you two? What are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Unbelievable. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? <laughs> but I looked at it before and there was nothing. Uh, a bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. Also, disregarding patients who need to be accompanied overnight stays... Wait. Also, disregarding patients who need to be accompanied overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words... Right! It's like the notices you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Unbelievable. Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions? My ass. He should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez. I guess. Pathetic. I guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. Right, and back to our cottages we go. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. That's my line. For the time being. For the time coming. For the time before. For the time proceeding. <laughs> um, so, Fuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting worried? So worried. Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma appears! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today, we're going to learn how to make Taiyaki. The first thing you'll need is a time machine. <laughs> we will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kanbei. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately, they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish-shaped, because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you've finished making Taiyaki. Brought to you by Monokuma! This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. I also realize that sometimes when Monokuma sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so, I can't help it. It's close. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, oh my, Sara! Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Okie dokie. I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Eh, yeah, teleport? The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. 
Wanna go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. Uh, I think we can just go. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so Fuyuhiko's character has done like a complete 180. He's so much more likable. To the point where he, he goes from being like probably my the most hated character to um, like top five most likable ones. So maybe even top three, I don't know. Um, what happened? Weren't you going to go to Nagato's room? Oh, sorry. I was talking about you. <laughs> Stop being a jerk. <laughs> Just unproving, disproving my point. <laughs> Mikan, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad! Are you effing serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Ever. I do understand how you feel, but... Don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Ajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagato's room. It took them 30 minutes to do that? <laughs> Let me just check one more time. I know it hasn't been long, but yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. Back to the lobby. What a lobby. Does anyone know what I'm referencing there? Have a guess. Well, no. <laughs> um, the incoming si signal light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I press the button underneath the blinking light and the mon monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello! How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end too, I can totally see your broke ass faces. <laughs> it might be best if I tell the others about Nagato's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope. We're all here, except for Hyoko. What happened to Hyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of, a of that coward. That was terrible. Um, uh, she has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't be, that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in, in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So, how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagato is actually in serious danger. You. I already know he's seriously dangerous. Well. No, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However... But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better. Hey, hey! First Nekamaru, then Nagito? That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes! You really can't say? That's impossible! But, Wanami, why are you on that side? Um... Cause it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! But please, don't discriminate! That despair disease is horrible! It's a d dangerous disease that can even destroy this island! So until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Blip. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut the connection. Don't fuck with me! That crappy stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Ugh, damn it, I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situa situation improves and changes for the better. Ah, uh, waiting. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. 
Ding dong, bingity bong. Waiting can be fun. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it. It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. <laughs> That's really true, actually. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez, we should go. Pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's effing annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagato one more time? Go for it. Leave this trans transmission thing to me. Jeez. They're not gonna have a, a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Okay, so I guess we gotta go to Nagato. Check in on him. That waiting thing that I said, waiting can be fun. That's also a reference. Uh, I don't know who, who will get that one. That's a tricky one. If you're British, you might get it. Whoa, Ibuki? What are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Yeah, I was like looking over here, the that first monokuma there looked like one of the patients. Uh, Nagato's room, number two. I even took the nameplate from his cottage <laughs> and put it there. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagato. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan? Hey, uh, Mikan? No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagato. Her back is turned towards... towards me. No, sorry, her back is turned toward me. As she... Shouldn't it be focuses? Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagato. Hmm, I'm not sure. It is in the past tense, but I feel like the word should be focus as they're not focused. Interesting. I don't know. Grammar is difficult. Uh, I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Nice. Looks like you finally noticed. God, please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. <laughs> wet? Uh, did you come by to check on Nagito? Uh, I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Uh, are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said, but she's working so hard to be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I just decided to shut up and go back to the lobby. Okay, back to the lobby we go. Yo! Yo! How's Nagato doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagato. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagato's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Oh well, let's look forward to tomorrow. With, with a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Okay, back we go. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that one sigh just isn't enough. <sighs> and the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing, first thing in the morning, I need to go, and go to the hospital. And not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital. I, wow, hospital, again. 
<laughs> I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time. <sighs> and slowly closed my eyes. Another one? Okay, I thought it was going to be another Monokuma theatre. I think it's the first time they, they go to sleep in this not a Monokuma theatre. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time. Hazily. Like watercolour paints, suspended in midair. Oh, sorry, it's suspended in water. <laughs> I just read what I wanted to read. <laughs> slowly, hazily. You ever just read what you want to read? <laughs> Ooh. All right, what is this? There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the win window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen, but even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Heh, <laughs> know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope Speak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that well, that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Alright. Oh, there is a Monokuma Theatre. Hey! Hey! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself, so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to a friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and, sh and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. <laughs> So, is the implication there that he was also the friend? So, he wrote a love letter to himself, and then he asked himself to show himself the love letter. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, uh, I skipped that line, sorry. Hmm, it's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. Uh-oh. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. D not again! <laughs> I, I can't believe it! <laughs> Hajime's face is brilliant here. And Mikan's no, voice actor... No. Voice actress actually sounds quite different here, like, very, very different. Mikan again? Hurry up and move! I... I... 
Mm, you've stopped moving. Mm, now I can finally relax and sleep. Wait. Huh? Cyanosis again! Oh, wah, wah. Hajime's gone limp. Wow! He's got a hold of himself. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Mikan, why are you... Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Now that you mention it... Oh, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But... But uh, good news. You see, Nagito's condition has stabilized. R really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. <laughs> If I said something about it, like, not being mentioned again, what I meant is, like, it's never explained as to why... No. Uh, well, I guess... Oh, I see. Oh, it's a plot device for this part. Okay, that's probably what it is, yeah. It's a plot device so that they can put Mikan into Hajime's room for this part. Okay, yeah, I guess that's fair enough. You know what, since I realized that, let's just call it here. I don't know when the next sort of like perfect place to stop is, but we're over 20 minutes. Um, all right, wow. That was actually quite a funny episode, probably one of the funnier episodes. Um, but for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 57 of Let's Titan of Danganronpa 2, Good Goodbye Despair. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.